Hey guys, in today's video, we shall be making some cassava starch glue, that is to say adhesive. Here I have my cassava, I'm sorry, I have my starch already in the water and uh, I will be adding more water in case if need be. And here we have, I have these five liters of jelly can that I will be, you know, putting a sort of uh, pasting some label on it or a label on it to see how effective our starch glue is. And I also have this one here. I also have this container here. And here also I have some envelope that I just cut. I will treat them into a sort of label to paste on our empty jerry cans and cans and bottle. And here we have a we have a teaspoon of salt. The essence of adding this salt is to avoid mold after some time into our our glue. And uh, here I have container that will be pouring in the starch, I mean the glue, after preparation. So let's get started quickly. So first thing I will be adding is salt. This salt into our, into the, the, our starch. And then uh, we stir. But guys, it is better to do this why the starch is still cold don't add starch to hot pan otherwise it will get a lot of lumps and you can't manage it so right now i will be so i will be turning the starch into the this pan and they mix it thoroughly together before heating the pan guys don't ever pour your starch in a very in a hot pan otherwise it will form a heavy lump that you can't even manage. So now you can see I have mixed, you know, the 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 starch, the cassava starch, and the water smoothly. See now I will place it on the heat. So and then you continue to stir. You continue to stir. So that's just it. Okay, so hope you can see our our star, cassava starch glue. I added water, guys, actually, because um, it begin to get very, very thick and uh, it's not yet done. But please don't add water when it's on fire. You can see this is off of the heat. I added water and I will add more. So... The essence is just to to get the light consistency that I I need, or that it will be okay for my gluing things. You know, then I will now. So you see, I am doing this off the heat. If you do this on the heat, it will just dry up the entire thing, and uh, you know, result in a very big uh, mass uh, uh, lump. So now I will turn it back to the heat and this time on a very low heat so that it will cook gradually. And you can see, let me show you the consistency that I have. Hope you guys can see. It's not yet done. By the time it will be done, it will look, it will be crystal. You can see here, it looks like a thick pulp. But by the time it will be done, it will look crystal white. So that is how you know that your glue is done. So let's continue cooking on a very low heat, as I'm doing right now. And uh, I might be adding water this time again, if I want. So, actually, your, this is a rule of thumb. My consistency wouldn't I mean, determine your own type of consistency, you know. So, but when it's light, it's okay. And I hope you guys can see it's already turning into that crystal white. You can see, yes. So I will now lower the heat so much. Yeah. So you can see now it's getting the color of glue crystal white. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so and then, <clears throat> guys, another essence of adding salt is to disenable it to form you know 
this massy uh, lump of a thing. So that is another essence of adding salt. Apart from forming mold. So you can see this is our crystal starch glow. Wow, it looks so nice. Okay, guys, we have come to the conclusion of this cooking. Yeah, look at it. I think this is, look at the consistency that we have here. Very crystal. Look at it. This is our, I mean, glue. Stash cassava glue. Yay, wow. So here we are. It is done. You can see it didn't form that lumpy something of a or heavy lumpy, heavy lump. It didn't form that heavy lump. And uh, so this is our glue now is crystal white. It has been crystallized. So now I will be pouring it into this clean jar. Actually, I wanted to use this small container, but I can see it's very small for it and please make sure you pour it into a very dry jar you can see this da jar is dry if you're if you if you do if you don't store it in a dry jar it will grow mold so that is just the essence so right now i will be pouring it into this jar and uh, showing you guys so here we are Wow, guys, <laughs> this is super, super, super. Wow, I love this. I love this. Ooh. So now we shall be placing the, the paste or the gum on there. Let me just I'm putting it on putting some on this uh, plastic. Look at it. This is nothing but hundred percent homemade <laughs> cassava glue. Wow. And the wait, let me start from this. I think I have I have small I have small label for this. I actually stripped this label from this and there. Uh, wow, look at it. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, let me use my brush to do some of the finishing work. And then we move to we move to to so we shall do in this one. This is jelly can. And then I also put some of the glue on this paper anyway so I'll put at the edges that will glue fine and then paste it wow guys this is awesome 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 <laughs> so now i will be cutting this label for this one which i have started already and the this is the paper I am using for this one to make label. This is just an envelope because <laughs> I wanted a plain white paper, but I don't have in my house here. So,
Okay, I think we can manage this. Guys, I'm just trying to get the accurate size of this bottle. Otherwise, it will it won't look neat. So right now, I will be doing the pasting. Wow. This is glue. Okay, so we put the paper on it. Wow, guys. And then glue the edges. So right now, here we are. We have finished gluing. And then uh, this is the this one of it. So what you just do is uh, in order for you, so what you do in order for you to have this smooth gluing of it, you use either a tissue paper, a paper towel or whatever, and uh, give it a clean, you know, sort of pressing like this. You see. So it will have that. I hope you can see. It will have that smoothness of, of pasting, and that is to say, even if you have put in ex applied excess glue, wow, wow! Look at how flat it is. You can see, and uh, the same thing applies to this one. You just give it that smooth. Just press it down and it will stick. And then this one as well. Look at it. So, guys, finally, finally, guys, this is our homemade cassava starch glue. And uh, as you can see, we have pasted the uh, labels on plastics, on bottles, and it, it stays. So thank you guys for watching this video. Bye-bye.